Military monkeys, named for their smart uniforms, are the fastest primates in the world. Here in the Serengeti, they are far from their main stronghold. The handsomely colored male leads his harem through difficult times. Baboons are the military monkey's greatest rivals. More powerfully built, they stake their claim to the generous banks of the Grumeti River. Thousands of hippo live here, alongside the biggest crocodiles in Africa. One ancient crocodile has held this hunting territory for decades. But even this veteran has never seen a drought like the one that is about to hit the Grumeti this year. The monkeys have no chance against the baboons on the riverbank itself. They therefore live further away in the thorn bush. They can survive there because they originate from the dry Sahel zone, where drought is the usual state of affairs. But this year will be hard, even for them. The deepest drought for 70 years leaves the Grumeti completely dry. The once life-giving river is transformed into a place of death, even for those who once ruled over life and death on its banks. The monkeys have spent the night among the slender, thorny acacias. Numb with cold, they welcome the warmth of the morning sun. The male allows himself more time in the morning than the females. Hunger soon brings them to the ground. They are suckling young and must produce a lot of milk. But on the ground, the leader takes command. A handsome, self-confident figure with gleaming red fur. He decides when and where the troop feeds. In every military monkey troop, there is only one fully adult male. He will abide no rival near him. A grasshopper, too slow to escape in the cool of the morning, provides the first bite of breakfast. The females tuck into more substantial fare. Military monkeys have a very Catholic diet. Even a spider's web arouses the interest of this youngster. He has often found bundles of eggs in webs like this. They're delicious. It's February, and there are several babies in the troop, all only a few weeks old. It's unusual for all the young to be the same age. Other African monkeys produce babies at all seasons of the year. Probably this is an adaptation to the military monkey's home in the semi-desert south of the Sahara. There, they can raise young only in the most productive season of the year. In East Africa, they keep to their seasonal breeding pattern, although in these conditions they could raise young all the year round. In Kenya and Tanzania, at the eastern edge of their range, military monkeys occur only where there are large stands of whistling thorn. The slender, spiny trees provide them with their every need. For all that, the acacias are not entirely welcoming. They protect themselves with huge thorns. At the base of the thorns are hollow swellings, or galls, swarming with colonies of acacia ants. Five different species of biting ant live in the galls. 
They have ruined the appetite of many a leaf eater. But not the military monkeys. They find the galls a particular delicacy. Neither thorns nor ants can keep them away. But they are not interested only in the young, soft galls that grow at the base of the thorns. They also search very deliberately for older galls full of ant larvae. For a large part of the year, they are the most important source of food for these desert specialists. After a couple of minutes, though, the furious swarm of ants is too much for them, and they move to another tree. No other primate in East Africa disputes their right to these spicy delicacies. This is why here, in a small isolated population on the edge of their range, they can hold out against competition from baboons.